Hi, Andy here, Smoke to Vape, with another juice review. Uh, I've had a cold this week, so apologies for the lack of reviews. And uh, last week, I got about 12 flavours through, and I was bunged up and I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. Uh, I couldn't tell the difference between uh, juices. The only one I could tell apart was menthol, shockingly. Uh, right, today I've got a juice review because um, I ordered, when I first ordered my very first device, which was the Janty Stick, um, I got a fantastic cappuccino flavour and um, I I was running low and I ran out and uh, then I ordered some more and I got some more cappuccino through and it wasn't as good. It left a sort of oily texture, it was slightly bitter and the one that I had and loved was very sweet and very, you know, coffee like, like a cappuccino. Um, but the one that uh, followed was was pretty bad. So, what I did was I, I had a look around on the internet and I posted some stuff on the forums and, and, and asked which one people recommended and uh, this one popped up. So here we go, 18 milligram espresso mocha from N-Juice on the screwdriver at 3.7. Wow. So as you can see, really good vapor, 3.7 volts on the uh, screwdriver Mark II uh, on a 901, direct dripped, and uh, absolutely fantastic coffee flavor, amazing. It is coffee, very, I would say strong, sweet coffee with cream and chocolate. The 18 milligrams is giving me a very nice, pleasant, not as Grim Green would say, reckless, but a very pleasant um, throat hit. Uh, 18 milligrams, because I have bumped down the um, my milligram level because I've been going to 6 volts. There is a problem, however, when you do go to 6 volts with this flavour, and I will clearly demonstrate that through the... through mime. Now, this is the, the device that I tested out first on, at 6 volts. So here we go. Well, now that you can see me again, you will agree that the vapor production is absolutely spectacular at 6 volts. The throat hit is reckless, um, but there's a slight problem, I think. I don't think this juice really is formulated for 6 volts. I don't know what that means or what, what chemistry magic you have to apply to the juice to make it so, but when, you, when I try it on the silver bullet at 6 volts, it doesn't taste right. So cappuccino mocha from N-Juice at 18 milligrams is very, very nice at 3.7 and at 5 volts, but higher voltage, 6 volts. The, it tastes like uh, they've put cream in the coffee, but the cream has gone off slightly. Um, so if you, are if you have only 6 volt devices, I would consider you get lower devices to try this on because the flavour is well worth it. It is very accurate to coffee and if you're after a sweet coffee chocolate e-juice I would highly recommend this. So that's my review for today, thank you very much for watching, if you have been thanks for watching, I've said that twice, the fish has got the information, I don't know what he's doing, he's messing around with the filter. Um, oh you can see my other fish as well, just, just there. He's a suckerfish. He doesn't have a name either. If you'd like to submit a name for the suckerfish, please do, and then that will be their name. Right, if you have been, thanks for watching, and here, as ever, is the review roundup. So here we go with N-Juice's Espresso Mocha at 18 milligrams. The vapor production was absolutely spectacular on all voltages. Flavour was uncannily accurate, unless you're vaping at 6 volts, then it started to go a little bit weird on me. Throat hit was just right for a coffee flavour. £7.50 for 10 millilitres might seem a bit pricey, but it's high quality stuff. It's brilliant. Grand total, 8 out of 10. I'd recommend it. My enjoys ju ba ba ja ja ba cha cha